Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a series of Java solutions to the questions which were asked in CPA exam of TCS. I will be writing the code from scratch and I will explain every line I write in the code so that you can understand the code. And I'll also mention the best practices that you can follow while writing the Java code. I will also give you some tips about how to approach Java pro program so that you can write the code within the allotted time. While solving the questions, we will follow some rules, which will help us to write the code step by step. I'm sure if you watch all the solutions in the playlist, you can easily clear the exam with no difficulties. These are the steps which we are going to follow while writing the Java code. First, we'll write import statements, then we'll declare the class, then we'll declare the variables, and along with the access modifiers then we we are going to create getters and setters after that we'll go to the step 6 which is to accept inputs and we, once we accept the inputs we'll test our code to check whether it's accepting the inputs properly then we'll declare the methods after declaring the methods we'll write the actual logic inside the methods then finally we'll print the results inside the method and once we test the results are okay, we will return the result and print the result in the format specified in the question. While writing the code, we will try to use array list whenever possible. The reason being, since the questions are based on object oriented programming, they may ask you to sort or reverse the array of objects or to find the second smallest number inside objects. So Writing the for loop to iterate through array of objects will take a lot of time and you might not finish the question in time. So using a array list will make our life much easier. And we will test the code after completing each segment of code. This is a good practice because we can verify that uh, our code is working fine till the point we have written the code. And I'll also mention some best practices which you can follow while writing the Java code. You can find the link of the first solution in the description. Thank you for watching and all the best for your test. I hope I'll see you in the next video.